Hey, 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 Med School Made Easy. This video is going to go over the fractional excretion of urea. Uh, we'll heavily reference our FINA video. Um, as mentioned, the FINA video, the reason why we would calculate a fractional excretion of urea is if the patient's on diuretics or uh, other conditions like in really sick or elderly people that make a FINA less accurate. Uh, of note on that topic, um, one limitation of FE urea is that in septic patients or people that have a septic process, this can actually be uh, inaccurate. You actually want to use a FINA instead. So um, FINA, in most cases, with the exception of elderly or a lot of comorbidities or people on diuretics, and FE urea in um, those patients, unless they're septic. Okay, and the way they remember uh, FE urea is the same way that I do with FINA, and that is Luna Lovegood, okay? Um, because Luna right there is your first one and everything's opposite. So what you're doing is inputting um, urinary lights and serum lights into this calculation. It's gonna spit out a percentage and then you're gonna know if uh, the patient has a pre-renal or intrinsic or post-renal type azotemia or process going on uh, from your uh, fractional excretion. So anyways, uh, back to Luna. The reason why that's big is because in your FINA calculation, you start with your urinary sodium, okay? Luna love good, and then everything's opposite. So I'll write up the FINA just, just so you know what I'm talking about if you haven't seen that video. So the opposite of urinary is serum, and the opposite of sodium, and for the purpose of this equation, is creatinine, right? So then we just we keep flipping. So then the opposite of, uh, of uh, serum, or the opposite of this, right, is urinary creatinine and the opposite of that is serum sodium too easy um, now the only way this is different obviously if you're dealing with urea instead of sodium is change your sodiums to urea boom and you just went from a fina to a furia cool um, the numbers that are clinically significant here so it's not the same you can't use the less than one percent fina for pre renal uh, because the, the urea number will be kind of in a different magnitude. Uh, in any case, so if it's less than 35%, you're going to think pre-renal azotemia, dehydration, uh, CHF, hyper uh, volume status type deal. Uh, and then if it's greater than 50%, you're going to be thinking of something intrinsic uh, or something renal, um, you know, like ATN or... I don't know, something wrong with your kidney. So in any case, that's FE urea. Thanks.